we are a beach demur operation. Uh, we fish from waters in the Torres Strait down to sort of just south of Mackay. We have three main vessels and then we run, depending on each trip, but generally we run three dories off each main vessel, sometimes four depending on the trip and the species that we're trying to target. My role coming on board here was to basically get some systems in place, namely a safety management system um, to, to bring it up to basically what the current regulations are. Um, as you can see, I mean, the, the book is quite small, so it's quite an easy system to follow, given the fact that they are in those vests, in the dories, the majority of the day. Um, yeah, it's imperative that um, they're maintained well and meet all the safety requirements as well. We have sort of a program maintenance, so every two trips the main boat will do. Um, someone meets the boat down wherever it is, Mackay, Gladstone, Cooktown and does um, our own little maintenance schedule on it, so just basic servicing and I have a full checklist, all the safety gear gets pulled out, um, anchor, everything, all the hull, check it for cracks and stuff, as you know it's pretty hard work on the dories out, the swains and working around the reef a lot, so like our motors are pretty good, we replace them every four years, once they start getting a few hours up it's just cheaper for us to unbolt them and use them as parts, but just basic stuff, you know, like Fuel filters, dirty fuels, usually the biggest problem we have, water in the fuel. They all have to have um, the right accreditation to get the job in the first place, which is elements of shipboard safety, a recreational skipper's ticket, and also a rescue diver ticket, and a marine radio operator. So, you know, the, the relevant tickets to get a basic understanding of um, how to operate a dory and um, work at sea. And on top of that, we do diver and driving training. We'll take an extra person out so they're just a third wheel for a trip to two trips to ensure that they're um, supervised at all times until we can tick them off and say that they are capable of operating a dory unsupervised. Yeah, this is a typical beach to mer um, dory that we use um, in our day-to-day -day diving operations. Um, as you can see, we keep all our safety gear up to date. Two, two to three life jackets per vessel. Um, yes, good solace approved life jackets. Um, up to date flare kit um, as well. Make sure they're in date. Uh, signal mirror and a, a V sheet for daytime signaling. And a, what are they, 406? Yeah, and a up to date 406 EPUB registered. and. Um, within its battery life. Uh, we keep all that where it's easily accessible in the um, grab compartment in a good quality grab bag as well. Compass on board as well um, in case of GPS uh, malfunctions and also we keep good quality VHF radio. But the way our system works is we get a percentage of the catch so it's in everyone's best interest to work together so communication is key. If one dory isn't catching everyone's losing. So, you know, we all sort of try to work together and it's regular communication. You know the last time you spoke to that person was maybe an hour ago or two hours ago. And a lot of it is visual stuff for us because a lot of the reefs you work are small. You can see the other two dories and you're always looking over. You might be flat out, but you're always glancing up, looking, keeping an eye on where everyone is as much as you can. It does get pretty hectic, but you still got to look out where you're driving, so try to keep an eye on where everyone else is. Within our company, we have a very strict no drug and alcohol policy. Um, within our company employment contracts, we actually reserve the right as a master to search um, our crew's possessions and cabins um, to ensure that they stick to these guidelines as well. And um, you know that's a really important part of our safety guidelines is to keep everybody um, mindsets right for the job by being, you know, sober. You could have an accident when you're drunk driving in town and help can be 10, 15 minutes away. We're offshore, you know, we're out of helicopter range a lot of the time. You know, it takes a helicopter an hour and a half to get there. It takes us two, three hours to steam into helicopter range. That's a long time if you have a serious injury and, you know, um, you mightn't survive that long if the, you know, the incident's that bad. So you need to be 100% um, 
sober and alert at all times when you're on the water, I believe. Basically, if I was operating a dory on my own, I would wear a life jacket, preferably those comfortable um, self-inflating styles. Some people don't like them because they do have a tendency to go off um, if you get a lot of spray on you um, or they're improperly maintained. Maintain them, I think they work pretty good. Um, and also, when you're running around, wear your kill switch. Um, you know, you could get thrown off balance so easily and go overboard and um, your dory could disappear on you and you don't have time to tell anyone you're in trouble then.